Hey folks, Kevin here. <clears throat> well, it's September 29, 2023, over here in the new property. And uh, this morning I went ahead and gathered up the compost that was piled up next to the uh, to the old run-in shed way up over there. And, uh, and I got that material out. Uh, yesterday I got most of the piles that I had left with the last video, except for one filling in some low spots, but I still need some more fill up in there. And I still have to take those buildings down in another building, the, the run-in shed there, and another run-in from the other pasture. But I'm back here where there will be a pond, and, uh, and I've got the slope heading down in this direction, and it really drops off here, and I know that there's a culvert buried right in here, someplace right in here. Uh, so I may open this area up and have this be the the entrance uh, to a pond that I can put back in here. And I came back here with a brush mower uh, the other day when I was mowing and you can see it's pretty muddy in here. I understand there's a large rock in here someplace. I'm not sure just where yet. But there's piles of stone around in here as well. So... I think what I will do is, it's just too dangerous with all the rocks in here. There's there's rocks all around the margins here, and I don't want to do any more damage to the brush mower. So what I'll do is I'll hop on Elon, come in and explore around here, see if I can find the larger rock that's in here, and try to map out how I want to uh, dig a pond in here. Uh, and I may end up starting to dig a pond this week, so we will see. Uh, so first thing I'm going to do is come in here, have a look around. I can see now I've, I've got some low limbs I need to take off. But most of these trees look in pretty good shape, to tell you the truth. A lot of nice maples in here. I've got a couple of dead trees over there, but most of them look pretty good. And this would make a nice little pond, similar to the one that I d dug previously at Pond 8. Uh, but we'll have to see. I guess there's a boulder in here. We'll see. But you can see the how how much it dips down here. There's old dead stumps all over in here. <coughs> so we'll see. Yeah. So there's a rock just under the surface. Another rock right there. These are just plant, uh, create havoc with the uh, with the brush mower. So I'll get started now and see what I can do. Okay, uh, on my way, come, taking Elon down over there, I uh, discovered another little bump here that hit, <laughs> so there's one of the rocks there. Those are pretty heavy rocks, believe it or not. But I decided to come down here and start clearing in this low spot, this real low spot where we'll have uh, a pond. And it's really greasy, meaning lots of moist soil. And there's lots of slipping of the tracks and if there's interest I'll show the video that I had on my neck as I was working through this area but I wanted to come in down here come in come down here and go into the area and see if I could find the boulders lots of rocks lots of, lots of stumps uh, and the low spots are where a lot of the trees had died and the roots the roots, uh, the stumps are still there in several places. So I made my way around and, and the stone walls are just over there. But I was able to f find a couple of the stones, a couple of the boulders. So here's one, it's down in that hole down there. And uh, really nice, this is a beautiful boulder. Nice piece of granite with beautiful veins in it. And it's and the uh, the bars going across really gorgeous gorgeous one when it's cleaned off but this was upside down in that hole then we have this other gorgeous one here and I could see it's pretty sandy down in there but I was clearing around in this area the stone wall goes right over there property lines right over there where the tree line is and uh, so just trying to move things around, get some of the stumps out, 
and deciding what trees have to come out. So here's what I've decided so far. This double trunk maple, that's going to come out because it's going to be problems in the future. And I want to have as few problems around a pond in the future as possible. <laughs> I've learned that the hard way. This triple trunk here, it's actually a quad trunk with the poison ivy all over it there. Uh, I'm going to take that one down as well. But before I take that down and loosen up the soil, I need to position these boulders where I think I'm going to want them in the future because I need as solid a ground as possible to move these puppies around. So, but before I get to where I think I'm going to put them, uh, and that's before, after I move them, then I'll take out these couple of trees that need to come out. But there's a lot of decent trees, and I'll try to leave a margin around between the stone wall and all this material here. Uh, and clean this up first in here. But then start digging my way around, making different shapes. That tree will come out, so I'm going to avoid leaving nice, uh, nice high spots there and drain around it so I can have the pond go on out over that side. I need to leave a nice clearing, a buffer for the property line there. And then I'll work my way up into that area that looks wet where I was sinking in where I took out a couple of stumps. And this whole area, and I'll leave a buffer for that maple right there. Take this tree out. This is after I've moved these boulders. And I could dig a fairly decent hole in here. Uh, and start my, my way at that side. Take and pile the soil here. Then repile it out there <laughs> and then move it to the locations that I need to fill in other other spots. But I think a lot of this is going to be sandy. You can see there's lots of thick topsoil in here, really, really greasy. So these trees will stay. And probably what I'll do is I'll leave a nice buffer around these trees here. So you could drive a tractor right around these trees and not have to worry about going into the pond. The pond will be big enough down in here without it. Then, I think what I'll do, now this is all my preliminary thoughts at this point. So that tree's staying, that tree's staying, that triple's coming out. It'll be pretty deep right in there, that double's coming out right there. So it'll be a pretty deep pond over in there. Then I think I'll work my way up here and step it up and make it a shallower section over in here. Work my way up and make this a shallower pond, but I'll make an imagination out in here. I think so. That way, the spillway coming from the pasture up there can come down, either come between those trees or I'll bring it down here in the opening. The culverts right there in between those trees, I may switch so I, so I have as healthy a, a a root zones as possible for all those trees. I may just come right down in here. There's a couple of stumps I still have to take out. But nice buffers around each one of these trees. That's a double trunk there and there's already some damage in the upper part of that trunk. But I'm not going to bother with, the, with that one. I'll leave it far enough from the edge. But in here I could have another shallower pond that's part of an extension of this deeper part of the pond down in here. So hopefully that makes sense. So I've got a lot of clearing to do out, do in here. And my feet are, it's like suction into this uh, soil. And I think I'll take this boulder, which I think is the bigger one. You never know until you dig them out because this was halfway in that soil. You could see how deep, uh, you probably can't tell with this one. How deep it was in there pretty deep. that's down a good three feet there but this boulder here I'll either put here after I get that stump out or on the other side there I've got to decide then that one I think I'll put up in this area here so it'll be like a couple boulders on the entrance I may find some more in here as I'm digging who knows I do like to leave big boulders in deep ponds and put clusters of boulders next to each other so that the young fish can have places to hide from the bigger fish. 
so we'll see. So those are my thoughts. So I've got a lot more clearing up to do, clearing to do up here. Let's see if I make this camera work here into the gimbal. So that's where I'm at so far. I'm not going to get any real digging done today. This is a exploration and see, see what I can find here. Uh, see just how the ground is. So I've got to work some of this material out, decide where those boulders are going to go. And that's going to take me a couple more hours. And there's some skeeters down in here. So I think that's it for today's video, folks. Uh, stay safe. There you go with that gimbal. You have a mind of your own. So I'm going to get back to work. You folks stay safe. Take good care of yourselves. And if you are interested in seeing the camera one that I was on, the excavator, leave a comment. I don't know that I'll post that. It's just me talking through the process, looking through here. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Stay safe. Bye-bye now. Thank <laughs> you.